A string of recent gun violence in Wichita is spurring action from community leaders and activists to discuss what to do. KSN's Craig Andrus attended a gun violence panel and reports on proposed next steps. Indeed, you know, this was a call to action for cops, prosecutors, and parents alike to try to find a way to stop some of these high-profile shootings. Many at the meeting say continue in Wichita. It's as though this is normal. Juvenile detention shouldn't be raising our kids. The police shouldn't be raising our kids. We need to do something in our community for our kids. A monetized group in Wichita with very big goals Monday night. Find a way to stop the shootings and gun deaths. Uh, help kids in the neighborhood to prevent them from getting involved in, uh, uh, with gun, guns and gun violence. State Senator from Wichita, Letha Vascado, in the audience. She talked about introducing bills to try to cut gun violence and help victims have more rights in the courtrooms. She says grassroots efforts like this are good, but says more people need to take action from courts to cops to help. Also in the audience, Colonel Brian White, who was with Wichita PD for years, now the undersheriff in Sedgwick County. He says more decision makers need to hear talks exactly like this one. I've worked a number of shootings uh, and homicides over the years, uh, and uh, I have personally been there where we have escorted a family member in. While those in the audience did not come up with an exact list of solutions to stop the violence right now, they're calling this the right start to find a way to cut the violence, shootings, and homicides. Many advocates to stop violence tonight called on parents to talk to their kids first, but they also want to know if metal detectors could go into more businesses, perhaps even create a city ordinance for metal detectors so there won't be as many guns inside businesses. Craig Andrus, KSN News 3.